I'll see you in an hour. Why can't I come and eat with you? Because that's not the name of the show. Annette Joseph presents Table for One. Buonasera. Buonasera. Table for one? Certainly. Would you like to sit inside or outside? Uh, I think outside. I'm sharing with you one of my favorite restaurants in the region. It's an agriturismo called Porera Conte. And I brought you here to share this very delicious, artistic, well thought out food that I absolutely adore. We try to follow the philosophy of, a, of the agriturismo to use zero kilometers, so sourcing as closely as possible, organic as much as possible, using local food, the best local produce that we can find, and uh, we believe in a kitchen that is mere, uh, less intervention, so the less you do to it, the better it is, basically. I would say that we take the, 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 the local produce that's seasonal and traditional of this area, but probably spin our own twist on it. So I want to see what type of twist they put on their regional menu. A glass of red wine, please. Certainly. So I believe this agriturismo grows a lot of olives. We bought the property in 2003 and, and the property had been abandoned for at least 15 years prior to that. So one of the first things that we, we got to work with is recuperating this olive grove, which is about uh, two hectares or five acres of olives. I mean, our olive oil is too good to cook with, but most of our plates will be finished with that last little twist of olive oil will be ours. You know, eating alone is, uh, it's very relaxing. And uh, you can really enjoy your meal when you eat by yourself. Mm. I mean, that's the thing mm. about eating alone, is I think I enjoy food more. So this is the kind of food review that counts. No one loves an empty restaurant more than me. <clears throat> it's almost like walking into a spa. I hope this red wine's good. Well, initially I think we, we came at it with a relatively humble view of doing something <clears throat> in the countryside, you know, getting back to basics, learning to live off the land, trying to be self-sufficient uh, as much as possible, serving local food basically. So it took me a while to kind of understand what the local food market was and lots of research, as you know, and lots of fun in the winter yeah, nights exactly. to go to various suppliers yeah. and see where things are made. And I mean, Luna Jana is just blessed with hundreds of producers of incredible products so you know it takes a while to, to do the research on that and then really learning to be seasonal because I think you know when you've lived in various cities around the world you forget what seasonality is and one of the beauties here is that you know you really do eat seasonal you eat you know the fruits when the fruits are available but not for the rest of the year so it's learning to, to have a, a menu that evolves with the seasonality basically. <laughs> We have on the menu today, we can do a, a little antipasti misti. We're doing the special of the souffle of the testaroli. Oh. And then I thought maybe you could like try some trout. Oh yeah, that, that sounds perfect. Okay. Let's do that. Okay, great. Uh, to drink, would you like some other wine? Um, a little red wine would be great. Okay. Thank okay. you. Just the house wine's perfect. Oh wow, look at the sun there. Whew. Table for One is based on silence, quiet, monk-like solitude. So I think working on this project has made me appreciate being alone in a large restaurant, loads of tables around me, with not a soul in sight. A bit of affettati with scabe. Ah. Good, because I just read scabe on the menu and I got oh, really yep. excited. Ooh, that looks amazing. Bon appetit, let me get you some more. Wow, thank you, wow. No, 
A dog wants my antipasti. So we have three locally made salamis here. One is a, a, a copper, which is this one. Oh, this one, yeah. Uh, one is a mortadella nostrale, which um, looks more like a salami, not like the mortadella that you know from Bologna, you know, right, which, right, with the right. pistacchio in it. Mm -hmm. um, but it's very normally eaten very fresh. And the other one is a, is a classic salami, the end, they call it. It looks really great. So wow. it's a three-day process to make those. <laughs> Three days, huh? It's great. Wow. Wow. It's so good. You know, I really love World of Interiors, and one of the things I love about it is it's really thick, so I can get through the entire thing. I could do a primi, a secondi. So we've made a souffle with the testaroli, the local pasta. It's the weirdest testaroli I've ever seen, but okay. So this is a very puffy testaroli, I guess. Oh, it is souffle-ish. Wow. That was unexpected. This is cool because testaroli is usually flat, like a pancake, like a crepe that they cut up and they blanch and then they serve with pesto. This is the anti-testaroli. Mmm. Oh, wow. That's fabulous. Oh, no. Veg is cooked to perfection. It's crispy. It's fragrant. It's fresh tasting. You know, sometimes peppers can be overwhelming. These are not. They're very fresh. They're great. Mmm. The light show. This whole f***ing restaurant, this is where they seat me. <sighs> I mean, this is pretty typical of my luck right here. Oh, the sun's coming out. Do you want to have a look through here? We used lockdown as a chance to remodel the pool into a, a, effectively a bio lake. The water is cleaned by the plants. It's supposed to be natural, so you're not, you're not using chlorine normally. Every bite of this meal is sensational. I can really taste the heart, the soul, the passion, the sweat, all the work that's gone into this. That was really amazing. This is so delicious. I don't have my sunglasses. They're in the car. So in between courses, I, you know, I'll scroll through my Instagram, see what's happening out there. It's where I get my news. Uh, I really like, uh, I like to look at the weather. Gosh, it's raining every day, except Saturday. Next week, it's iffy. <laughs> what do we have here? It's a supreme of trout, oven bait, with a melissa, which is a lemon balm hollandaise, slow cooked and, and, uh, and, and grilled um, Belgian endive, and then this Mediterranean sauce, which as you can see is the peppers and fennel and celery and a little bit of tomato. It's stunning. It tastes like trout, but you know, trout has just got such a wonderful flavor. And then there's this very, very, very acidy, lemony sauce that just sets it off beautifully. And I love the idea that they use the skins of the tomatoes. That's amazing. Wait till I tell Frank about it. Well, my heart's with the farming side of things, but you know, agriturismo is the whole concept is that you're allowed to have the tourism subsidize the farming because otherwise the farming on its own is, is very hard, especially in a mountainous area, to, to pay for itself. And we're seeing that, you know, people are interested in, in sustainable tourism. You know, they know that their money spent here is going into agriculture. This plate is insanely gorgeous. I mean, talk about eating with your eyes. This looks like a fake strawberry. It doesn't even look real. It's so beautiful. So what is this, Cornelia? This is a semifredo, which is a semi-frozen parfait. So like a, a semi-frozen mousse, let's say. 
with our olive oil inside. <gasps> so the olive oil comes as a bit of an aftertaste and we've uh, combined that with a salted caramel and a pre-lined pistachio. Oh my God. It's salty, it's sweet, it's all the things that you like in a dessert. And the semifredo is just like very creamy. You do have a little, just a slightest hint of olive oil. It's really spectacular. This whole meal has been amazing. I'm really hungry. I think I could take this to Frank in the car. It might be a little melty, but he'll get the picture. But it's table for one. And I'm gonna drive home, and then I'm probably going to um, take a Tums and go to bed. Mmm, that's good. So full though. Thank you for my table for wine. Thank you. <laughs> Wake up, Frank. Frank. Oh, hi. I'm back. You would have loved it. They did a trout dish. I mean, it had your name all over it. It was absolutely delicious. And I'm still hungry. We could drive through McDonald's. The food was just, it was so good. I'm definitely gonna have to bring you here sometime. If you like what you've seen, remember to like and subscribe. Thank you.